Hey guys, Taylor from Justin Time Electrical here. Now I've just finished doing up a switchboard upgrade at this place and I want to show what it's like and why you guys should do yours. So here we have it guys. Here's our new board. So house built in the 80s, used to have an old fuse type board. Um, what was happening was the client was having heats of issues with it constantly tripping out. On top of that, it makes it really hard to self-diagnose uh, when you have your old fuse type cartridges. So we've come in here and we've swapped it over. we put in all new Hager switching uh, with our circuit breakers and our safety switch RCBOs. So the beauty of having RCBOs on each circuit is that if you have a fault in your switchboard or in your house, you're only going to lose that single circuit itself. Uh, for instance, say you've got a fault on power circuit 1, uh, you're only going to lose that single circuit. Uh, you look at older houses, what they do is they actually share a uh, safety switch which will cover like, you know, two power circuits and a light circuit. So you may actually only have one issue, but you've lost all your power and all your lights. So I've got a bit of time here guys, so what I thought, I might actually give you guys a little demo um, of what we can do here to have a look if you've got a fault in your switchboard. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll just represent a fault. Uh, so we'll say, you know, we've got power circuit one off. What we're going to do is now go inside and I'll show you how you can actually identify that fault or try and find it yourself. Hi guys, so just a quick disclaimer, I have actually spoken to the lovely owner of this house and she has given me permission to make this video. Just so you know, I'm not randomly going around filming inside everyone's house. Alrighty, so we'll get going. Um, so what we've done here is well identified the fault back to this kitchen or in this case, you know, the representative fault back to this kitchen. So what we'll do is we'll go around and we'll physically unplug every appliance in here. What we want to do, we want to make sure we actually do unplug it uh, you, because you can't just switch it off the wall, that won't clear the issue. Uh, so we've got common culprits, uh, for instance you've got your kettle and your toaster, make sure they're all unplugged. Uh, and then there's a few items you probably don't think about. So you've got your dishwasher, uh, you'll probably find that that plug will be down underneath the sink. There we go, get that one. Um, you've also got things like your range hood. So if you look above your range hood, there's normally a power point up there. Alrighty, so now that we're 100% sure that we've unplugged all the appliances on that circuit, we can go back to the switchboard, uh, have a look at the breaker and see if we can reset it. All right, so there we go. So the breaker's reset. If it's actually holding on, what you've done is you've actually located your fault or your issue, uh, which is likely one of those appliances that you've unplugged. Um, now, the best thing you can do now is you can go back in one by one and just plug in those appliances back in. You'll find the appliance that's caused the issue will cause it to trip back out. Um, and there you go. You've self-diagnosed, you know, the issue of your fault. And you haven't even had to call out an electrician. But there you go guys, that's the conclusion of this video. Uh, the switchboard's all finished. There's only one thing left to do, which is give it our sticker of approval. You.